Hi, I'm Chris Fomsby, creator of the Wesley Challenge and director of discipleship at the United Methodist Church of the Resurrection. A few years ago, I was standing outside of Christ Church College in Oxford, England. I had just finished a tour of the buildings and the grounds with a few dozen people from my church. We'd gone to England to trace the life of John Wesley. John Wesley was an Anglican pastor and theologian who would later become known as the founder of Methodism. We began our journey in Epworth, where John Wesley was born in 1703, and we ended our journey in London, where he died in 1791. It was in the middle of our journey, however, in Oxford, England, where I was compelled to begin dreaming about and creating a project that would help people become more deeply committed Christians. It was there in Oxford, standing outside the cathedral, where I made a decision that I would pull a team of people together and develop what is now called the Wesley Challenge, 21 Days to a More Authentic Faith. John Wesley was a student at Christ Church College from 1720 to 1724. After his graduation in the fall of 1725, he was ordained as a deacon in Christ Church Cathedral. He then accepted a position as a fellow at Lincoln College. During this time, John Wesley was known to have dramatically deepened his faith, becoming a more deeply committed Christian. In 1729, Wesley was instructed by Lincoln College to return to Oxford to teach. It was then that John and his brother Charles and several of their friends committed to study regularly, participate in social goods such as visiting orphans, widows, and prisoners, and to practice other spiritual disciplines such as fasting and prayer. This group, known for their methodical approach to faith formation and ministry, was mockingly dubbed the Holy Club. Part of their routine or method was to ask questions of one another, bottomless and piercing questions. These questions would cause them to look deep inside their soul and therefore be faced with the truth of who they were in relationship to God, to self, and to the other. These questions, the same ones that you will be asking of one another over the next several weeks, were to shine a light on who they were as Christ followers and also a light on who God had intended for them to be. It was this time around 1732 that John Wesley developed what has come to be known as the 21 Questions. This 21 day challenge isn't about joining a holy club as Wesley's contemporaries had dubbed them. Rather, it's about opening our minds, our hearts, and our hands to develop a lifestyle of repeating the disciplines of our Christian faith. We choose to commit to these practices in order that ultimately we might, through our deepening spiritual life and union with God, bear witness to God's work in the world. A commitment to these practices is not to make you appear holy. Instead, commitments to these practices that emerge from Wesley's questions are an attempt to help our family, our friends, and all that we come into contact with find and follow Jesus. For some, this challenge will be a faith deepener. For others, this challenge will be a starting point, an exploration of the faith. And still for others, this challenge will be a playbook of sorts that provides a missional framework for experiencing the transcendence, mystery, and beauty of God, primarily through thoughtful reflection, generous discussion, and purposeful participation. The 21 questions are separated into three sets of seven questions. The three sets are God, self, and others. The first set of questions is about how we as humans relate to God. The questions for this week are, is Jesus real to me? Am I enjoying prayer? Do I insist upon doing something about which my conscience is uneasy? Did the Bible live in me today? Did I disobey God in anything? Do I pray about the money I spend? Do I give time for the Bible to speak to me every day? These questions help me to turn my focus away from me and upward toward God. Let me illustrate this for you. John Wesley was known to have said in reference to money, make all you can, save all you can, give all you can. This simple phrase reminds me of the many times that Jesus taught about money throughout the Gospels. The money that I possess, whether it is wrapped up in my investments, my savings accounts, or in my pocket, is not mine. Honestly, I do not possess the money I have. I am simply holding it. It is God's money. Therefore, if it is God's money that God has entrusted to me, I should pray about spending it. If you were to ask me if I prayed about the money I spent, I would say sometimes. I could definitely deepen my commitment to pray about the money I spend and therefore better steward God's resources. The question, do I pray about the money I spend and the others like it, are meant for you and me in the context of community where faith formation happens best to turn our focus from self to God. The 21 questions act as a mirror that I hold up and reflect on my true self in order that I might grow in my faith with God. 
becoming a more deeply committed Christian and therefore more attentive and active in God's work in the world. We do not practice the methods simply to be pious people. We practice the methods or the disciplines of our Christian faith to bear witness to God's redeeming work in the world. Over the next few weeks, you'll have an opportunity to look deep inside yourself. You will, if you are living this challenge in the context of a group, also have the chance to help others look deep into their soul as they help you look deep into your soul. Keep in mind, this isn't a challenge simply to conquer or defeat. At the end of the 21 days, my hope is that you will not just see the challenge as merely something you completed. Rather, I hope that this Wesley Challenge, 21 Days to a More Authentic Faith, is the beginning to a new and deeper relationship with God, self, and others. Peace to you as you open your head, heart, and hands and allow yourself to be transformed into who God desires for you to be.